What is up guys? Welcome back to another daily build video. This time we're taking a look at the Evo 6 GSR because we're using it in this upcoming summit. Let's go. Real quick before I get into the video, if you're looking for any of my Motorfest tunes or my Need for Speed Heat builds, I've moved everything to my website. It's militiagamingco.com. There's links in the main navigation menu for Need for Speed Heat builds and Motorfest Pro settings. So click those if you're looking for that. The link to the site is actually in the description of this video. All right, enjoy. Right, before I get into the Pro settings for the car, I want to tell you that putting a body kit on this car makes a huge difference. It doesn't always feel different for other cars, but for this one, you definitely need to have the body kit on this car. It's a fairly short or narrow wheelbase, and then when you put the body kit on it, the wheels move outward, and that seems to have a pretty good effect on the handling of the car and the way that it's smooth, the way that it feels. Just in general, the car is easier to handle, so I highly recommend putting the body kit on it. Um, there's a painted version, and then there's this carbon version. I thought this looked the best. So this is what I went with and the customization on the car is pretty good too. So just go through and customize it before you start racing it. That being said, let's take a look at the pro settings and then we'll take it on a grand race. The power distribution is at 45%. Brake balance is at 64%. And then for the suspension, I've got plus five in the front, plus 10 in the rear. Uh, for the compression front, I've got plus four. Compression rear is at plus 10. Rebound front is at plus three. Rebound rear also at plus three. Anti-roll bar front is going to be plus 10. And the same thing on the rear, plus 10. For the camber, I've got it at minus 0 0.20 for front and minus 0.25 for the rear. That gives us a lateral G stat of 1.13. Really not that good in this class. However, the car feels okay to handle. It just kind of walks out towards the outer edges of the turn turns in nicely it seems to have a pretty good turning radius but it doesn't actually stick the corner it tends to slide out a little bit so hopefully we don't have any issues in the grand race well let's give it a shot and here we go so this uh gsr is going to be up last and i've got a couple of meta cars here uh so hopefully we do okay i i would love to be near or in the top five uh when we get into the street category first obviously would be best. All right, first couple of turns okay. I don't want to do anything dangerous here. Very nice corner here. Oh, he's a little, a little wide there. It's been a while since I drove the Cento Dieci, and. Uh, I don't, I don't know why I left it. <laughs> it just feels so good to drive. Even when you make mistakes like that, it's very forgiving. It was one of my favorite for a long time. And then I just started trying out other hyper cars and it's good to be back. And these corners take a tremendous amount of concentration. I'm like trying my best to try to remember to talk to you guys, but. It's uh, it's pretty tough, as you can see. <laughs> Not doing the best job of it. All right, we're nearing the first switch. Not too bad. Where are we going? This is interesting. Oh my god. That is the weirdest transition, dude. Now, where are we headed? 
is this a new path or are we just headed out this way differently where where are we going dude i honestly don't recognize this at all this looks very strange uh oh i went around the tree instead of on the on the side of it all right back on the road here oh this might be the opposite of the monster truck one all right part of this kind of looks familiar i'm just gonna kind of play it safe Yeah, this is kind of that reverse of one of the monster truck ones. I mean, that wasn't the best turn. We'll take it though. And now we go up this hill and across all these switchbacks. I'm slamming these corners then. If it's this track, think we'll be okay. Yeah, I'm just kind of confused as to... I, uh... I don't know that I've taken this route on Rally. I feel like we've done it on other cars. Maybe Rally Raid? I don't remember at all. I feel like I drove it pretty well. Just... Alright, here we go. Street 2. <laughs> I love this underglow, dude. Also, the NOS is crazy. It's like shooting these giant lasers at people. Even though I have no people here to shoot lasers at. They'll be coming. I'm not sure this car is the fastest. It feels nice to drive, though. Just gotta be controlled with it. Not too bad, not too bad. I feel like we have a pretty decent gap, judging by the uh, the little arrows there. We should be able to hang on and get this victory, as long as I stop undershifting or overshifting or whatever you want to call it. Let's get back up to speed here. Now with slip, I think we can get into the uh, close to 40, uh, 240 on this car. I haven't actually tested it, but without slip and just NOS, I'm, I can I can definitely push it to 230 plus. So I'm thinking with slip, we can get to 240 or, or close to it. Wow, that sun is just not my friend right now. 91% Go out into the bushes a little bit. Okay. Well, uh, aside from something crazy happening here at the end of the race, I think we've got this one in the bag. 
Uh, I do want to talk a little bit about the handling of the car because the, the lateral G stat really is almost feels like it misrepresents the car. I think it actually does turn quite a bit better than what is represented by that stat. Uh, the car feels really good to drive. It is a really nice looking car, like honestly one of the coolest looking Evos there are. And uh, I I'm happy to uh, to drive this thing in the, in the grand race. So I think overall, it's definitely a car that you can use. It's viable. Uh, we are going to have to use it in the upcoming summit. That's why I'm putting out the tune for it. Um, but I might actually use this a little bit more than just for the video because it felt really good on this course and I didn't really have too many problems with it. I didn't have to like go head to head with any of the other cars. Um, so maybe this particular one is not the best test for it, but it definitely felt good. And I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. So anyway, the tune is up. It's there for you and enjoy that. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next daily build video. Thank you so much for watching. Trigger out.